All right. The first thing I want to tell you is the citizens of Florida will not tolerate senseless acts of evil. You just can't imagine how this could, how this could ever happen in a state like ours. Think of the innocent lives that are lost. We still, uh, according to the sheriff's department, we have five, as you know, we have five individuals that have lost their life. We still have people fighting for their life in our hospitals. Whoever is responsible will be held accountable to the full extent of the law. So let me repeat this. The state of Florida, the citizens of Florida, law enforcement in this state will not tolerate evil acts. Whoever is responsible will be held accountable to the full extent of the law. I, uh, I heard about this when I was in Fort Myers. I immediately came over here, got here about 145. I've stayed in contact uh, with the Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Israel has done an outstanding job but the FBI, everybody involved has done an outstanding job. There's been complete coordination between FDLE, the Sheriff's Department, the airport security, all federal agencies, everybody has worked together. I reached out uh, across the state, uh, not only to our National Guard to make sure they were uh, ready, if there's any uh, need for the National Guard, but also airports and sheriffs across the state uh, where our major airports were to make sure whatever resources they need the state was available to provide those resources. My heart goes out to every family impacted. The families that lost their loved ones and the family and the individuals that have loved ones still in a hospital fighting for their life. You can't imagine how this could happen to any family anywhere in the world, but clearly we don't ever want this to happen in our great state. I have reached out to uh, President-elect Trump and spoken with to him and Vice President-elect Pence multiple times uh, to keep them informed. And they told me whatever resources that we need from the federal government, they would do everything in their power uh, to make that happen. My number one priority right here, right now in Florida is to keep everybody safe. Everybody that lives in our state, everybody that travels to the state, do everything we can uh, to keep them safe. As you know, we have, this is an ongoing investigation. There's a lot of information that uh, law enforcement will put out at the time that they can put that out and they'll do that as quickly as they can. But I can tell you, everybody is working hard uh, to find out exactly what happened and to hold whoever did this accountable. I don't ever want this to happen again uh, to any family anywhere in the world, but clearly never again in our great state.